Rachel. Please sit with your back straight, feet on the ground, hands on your upper thighs. Gently focus on your third eye. We're gonna start as usual with, and, and your third eye is between your uh, eyebrow um, and above the bridge of your nose. Now, uh, we're gonna start as usual with uh, breathing, Kriyaki yoga breathing. This elevates your frequency and uh, many of you may actually feel it as you do it. So to breathe in or inhale, uh, if you can visualize, visualize the air moving from your tailbone through your vertebra or your backbone all the way up to the back of your head and then moving to your third eye, which would be at the center of your head. So to uh, exhale, you just see the reverse of the same direction from third eye to the back of your head, to your vertebra, all the way down to your tailbone. And uh, as you inhale, you can say hung and some say hum or some say om. Different yogis say it differently, it's up to you. And as you uh, exhale, you can say so, S-O-W, and uh, try to come from the throat like that because that's what it's suggested. So as you do that, you could do it in your mind's eyes. Uh, you don't have to say it loud, but if you wish to do so, you all are muted, so please feel free. So let's do that a few times. Uh, this cleans your kundalini lines and also it, it helps you to elevate you. If during the day you have a stress of the day and you are dealing with things you don't want and you, you don't wish to dealt with, you didn't wish to deal with. So you could actually clean your kundalini line right after. And you can feel the difference as you do. It's like your body is just rejuvenated. It's like breathing. So let's do that. Get rid of the heaviness. Beautiful. At this time, see that you have this beautiful golden light from above your crown chakra, that is the top of your head, that is entering from the sky, coming, entering your crown chakra. Again, it's the top of your head. And it enters, it covers it in golden light, fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. Moves on to your third eye, which is at the center of your head. It's in your eyebrow above the bridge of your nose. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. moves down to your throat chakra, which is the center of your throat. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to your heart chakra, which is at the center of your chest where your sternum is. 
it is covered in golden light fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. Moves down to your solar plex, about three inches above your navel or your belly button. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to your sacral chakra about two and a half inches below your navel, your belly button. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to your basic chakra, which is where your sex organs and groin is located. It's covered, covered in golden light, fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down through your leg. This beautiful golden light travels down to your leg. It touches Mother Earth. It moves down, down, down to the core of Mother Earth. We share this beautiful golden light from multiverse with healing and energizing quality with Mother Earth, with our gratitude and thanks for the bounty that is giving us every moment of our lives. As we meditate, this beautiful golden light will expand through the core of Mother Earth and rejuvenate and heal Mother Earth throughout our meditation. Part of this light will travel back through your leg, goes up through your rear chakras, Ming Ming, back solar plex, back heart chakra. As it does, it cleans and energizes each and every one and travels up to your crown chakra, which is above your head, travels to your multiverse. At this time, you have this beautiful golden light that is traveling from multiverse through you all the way to Mother Earth, core of Mother Earth. We expand this beautiful golden light. It expands and expands this funnel of light that is going through us like a bubble to cover your first auric layer. If you can visualize, visualize like you're a lotus. You're at the center of the flower and the first auric layer is the first petal. Row of petals. Or an onion, you're at the center of the onion and the first layer of that. So your first auric layer, it is covered in golden light, fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate now, take a deep breath. Moving on to the second auric layer, the golden light expands to cover the second auric layer, second rows of petals for the onion ring. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath.
Moving on to the third auric layer, the golden light covers your third auric layer. It expands like a bubble and it covers the third auric layer fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Moving on to the fourth auric layer, the golden light expands to cover your fourth auric layer in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Moving on to the fifth auric layer, the golden light expands and covers the fifth auric layer in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Golden light expands to cover your sixth auric layer. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Moving on to the seventh auric layer, the golden light expands to cover the seventh auric layer fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Now that we cleaned all the auric layers, we are putting them all in this beautiful golden light that is covering it, making sure there is nothing in any of the auric layers or in between the layers, or all are in golden light. Any blockages, anything less than love dissipate and disintegrates now. Take a deep breath. Moving to the templates, starting with the first template, corresponding to our basic chakra. First template is covered in golden light, fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate now Take a deep breath. Moving on to the second template corresponding to your sacral chakra. It is covered in golden light, fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Moving on to the third template corresponding to the solar plex. It is covered in 
golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Moving on to the fourth template corresponding to the heart chakra. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Moving on to the fifth template corresponding to your throat chakra. It is covered in golden light, fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Moving on to the sixth template corresponding to your third eye. It is covered in golden light, fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Moving on to the seventh template corresponding to your crown chakra. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate and disintegrate. Now take a deep breath. Any and all coercive links, any and all karmic links that no longer serves, any and all energetic links that is less than love and no longer serves to be dissipated and disintegrated. Now, I would like you to visualize, if you can, electrical plug that is connected to your energetic body and it has a cord attached to it that's from your energetic body that cord goes to the other soul whomever they are and you want to dislodge the electrical plug with the cord attached from both sides and now we are going to have them disintegrate into dust like a fuse that is burning any and all core siblings any and all karmic links that no longer serves, any and all energetic links from us to others or others to us that is less than love and no longer serves to dissipate and disintegrate. Now, take a deep breath. Now I want you to see as you are in this golden light, that this little bubbles, like a little circular bubble of golden light, you just, you can visualize them to just go to any of the cavities that are remaining from the plug that you dislodged from your energetic bodies and just fill those cavities. Or if you know, or you can visually see it, you can just go ahead and repair them with the golden light that is all around you. Normally, I just visualize a bunch of little bubbles of uh, uh, like a ball of light, and I'll just send them to all the areas that needs repairing. Set your intent, and it shall be.
Now we're going to open our chakra, starting with our basic chakra, which is uh, like a cone that opens and the white area of the cone would be facing away from your body. We're starting with basic chakra, which is where your sex organs and your groin is located. You're going to extend it fully and rotate it clockwise. You can visualize a clock in front of you if you wish. With one of the handles move from number 12 to three to six to nine to 12, that's a clockwise. If you can't visualize, you can command it. But I'm extending my basic chakra fully and rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my basic chakra now. Many of you may feel the energy, it's completely, uh, it's like a vortex. You can feel it, it's like moving. Moving on to your sacral chakra, that cone is about two and a half inches below your navel and it would face in front of you. So you extend it fully and rotating it clockwise, or you just say, I'm extending my sacral chakra fully and rotating it clockwise, or I'm extending my sacral chakra now. Good, very good. Moving on to our solar plex chakra, which is about three inches above the navel. Again, it's facing in front of us. You extend the cone fully, rotating it clockwise, or say, I'm extending my solar plex chakra fully and rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my solar plex chakra now. Moving on to the heart chakra at the center of your chest, where your sternum is, you extend the chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or say, I'm extending my crown chakra fully and rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my heart chakra now. Moving on to the throat chakra at the center of your throat, you extend it in front of you fully and rotating it clockwise. Or you say, I'm extending my throat chakra fully and rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my throat chakra now. Moving on the third eye, which is the center of your head, between your eyebrow, above the bridge of your nose, in the center of your head, you extend that chakra in front of you and rotating it clockwise, or say, I'm extending my third eye chakra fully and rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my third eye chakra now. Moving on to the crown chakra, which is above, which is at the top of your head, you extend it fully above your head toward the sky. So the big opening of the cone will be facing the sky. You extend it fully and rotation is the same format. Visualize a clock from 12 to, to three to six to nine to 12 and rotating it clockwise. Or you say, I'm extending my crown chakra fully and rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my crown chakra now. At this time, many of you may feel or see the lights. You are at the seventh frequency. You may see the red lights, red, color of red. and it changes to orange. And if you do not, it's perfectly okay. Just enjoy the energy. And the orange, 
changes to yellow. And yellow changes to this beautiful white color. white color becomes this beautiful pearly white light. You may feel the heat or feel hot, which is perfectly okay. Raising your frequency, these do happen. At this time, you feel you're all light, early light. Any and all astral entity or other entities that are connected or have attached themselves to your body, nothing can attach to you because you're of a high frequency. So you can repeat after me that I am so high frequency that any astral entity or entities that are lower or at the same level of frequency can no longer stick to me. See all the slip, slip away from you. You are like a Teflon, nothing can stick to you either within your energetic body or in your chakra or between your chakra it just slips away because you are high frequency. Like a Teflon, they can't stick to you. If you can visualize the vacuum to your left and that vacuum just sucks all these things that are slip away from you, it sucks it and it sends it back to multiverse to join the source other energy to be recycled. And you can feel yourself, you can feel the energy. If you can, you may hear the energy, the, the frequency, the vibration. You are of high frequency. Nothing can stick to you. Everything just slips away gets sucked in into the vacuum and goes into multiverse. Now we are gonna do our meditation. We're gonna start first, since we're at the seventh frequency, I would like you, as you close your eyes, which you already are, See if you see any light, the white light coming toward you. You may not, and that is perfectly okay. If you do see it, just engage it. Don't force anything, just accept. This beautiful light, beautiful white light keeps coming closer and closer and closer to you. Sometimes we cannot see the light or this beautiful white light. And that is because we are not able at this moment to see it and it's okay. So just surrender to this energy that you feel. You're in a safe environment. I would like you to connect to your higher self at this time. To do that, if you see the light, be with the light. It may come and go and move and that's fine. It may be a cluster of lights. That is fine too.
observe yourself, observe the light if you are able to see, and be receptive. If you have a question, you may ask and be open for the answer. Don't look for the answer. Don't come up with the answer. Just be. If your mind is occupying you, focus on the light or focus on your breathing. Beautiful light is surrounding you all. Beautiful light. I'm gonna let you just be in this state and communicate if you may. You don't have to communicate if you choose not to. If you can, feel the gratitude and love from your heart. You may have to, for a brief moment, think of something to bring that within you and then release that to the source, to your higher self. And sometimes that helps will feel or see because you also raise your frequency even further by doing that. Gratitude, love. Your higher self is you. It's loving you. It's loving self. For all that you have accomplished, all you have gone through, what a magnificent being you are. All that you have worked with since you were a kid until now. Look at what you have accomplished. What a joy. What a beautiful soul. What a magnificent soul. So loving. So grateful.
And now, we are going to communicate with our subconscious. Autopilot, part of our, ourselves. The way to communicate, you can give it a name. If you have a name, you can call it by that name. If you have a childhood name, nickname, or things that you were familiar with in the past, it may be a deeper connection, so try that. Or just name it, whatever you wish. If you do not wish to name it, you can just call it subconscious. Whatever feels comfortable to you. Now, as you communicate with your subconscious, you call it, let's say, Cindy, just an example, Cindy, I don't want to have the thoughts, negative thoughts of Joan coming into my sphere any longer. You repeat the same sentence without any variations three times. Your subconscious is a matter of fact. You give the instruction and repeat it three times. And then you will thank your subconscious. In this case, our example, Cindy. Try not to say anything abstract that I want abundance. It will, that is not the job of your subconscious. You can program, talk to your subconscious to do and assist you with your conscious. Meaning that the time that you are interacting and are aware, you can ask your subconscious to assist you. Your subconscious is part of you and the better you have a channel of communication the better you can map yourself your behavior and your actions mostly are autopilot so tell your subconscious what you want Ask it to cooperate with you and work with you. Be loving, but don't be ambiguous. Not too broad. Be specific. Repeat it three times and thank your subconscious. I'll give you a few minutes to do that. you are done with one, you can try another one, another item that you would like to correct or not having a recurrence in your sphere of thoughts. Or behavior. You have to be specific.
does not understand the meaning behind the meaning. You have to be matter of fact, very clear. And you can't, you can't ask them to read your mind. You have to communicate clearly. can look at it as a computer program. We want to modify something, but that something has to be specific so it can be remedied. Very good. That's it. Not too broad. We are working together. Now, at this time, we are going to start setting our intent for the coming week. So for those of you who are listening to this later, you will uh, can slowly get back where you are, your chairs. If you wish, you can close your chakra. So there won't be any energy interfered with you. And to close it, you just retract each chakra back to its location and stop the rotation. Or you can just say, I'm closing. We start with the crown. I'm closing the crown chakra by retracting it back and closing. Then you move to the third eye. I'm retracting back. And I stop the rotation, moving to the throat. I retract back and I stop the rotation, moving to the heart. I retract back and I stop the rotation, moving to the solar plex. I retract back and I stop the rotation, moving to the sacral chakra. I retract back and I stop the rotation. Basic chakra, 
and retract back and stop the rotation. That's how you will stop rotation or you can just say, I'm retracting back my chakras and stop the rotation now and it shall be. And the multiverse can move from mother earth up to your leg back to multiverse and you can grab a glass of water and ground yourself. For the rest of us, we are going to set our intent at this time. 